wanted to to participate. Um, I came on a on a short trip here for a couple of days, and um, I find it very difficult to to comment on um, on a place that I don't have the chance to interact with a lot. I've been working for a while around the idea of um, with theatricality and performativity. I had been reading up a lot about um, Guy Debord's game War Game and uh, Brenda Romero. She's a gaming professional and she made a game called Train. Um, it was a series of games under that are called art games that are um, basically games that don't really have a goal. There's no nobody's winner, nobody's loser. Um, the game never ends and it can repeatedly be played and it's uh, very much about introducing ideas to the players. I basically am just proposing certain ideas and putting out certain thoughts. The instructions allow the people to, to perform because you're supposed to stand up and read out loud and then you sit down. There's cards and rules and there's dice inside here which are actually quite nice. They're really fun dice. It's just, it just gives it open possibilities of what you can do with it, basically. I think it's important to look at things from many different sides. And I think playfulness and the duality of, of what games have become and how they, are, they, how they um, exist in our societies um, kind of allows for, for certain topics to be discussed that otherwise might not be discussed so openly in, in a public space.